I'll tell everyone you're a good kisser. I just won't say where. That's my reputation you're playing with. Honey, my lips are sealed. Not too sealed, right? <laughs> <laughs> and those nights. Bobby, you are so lucky with this guy. You have no idea. He's a sweetheart underneath it all. I wish I could get Lou to be like him. More sensitive, if you know yeah. what I mean. That coral looks good. I mean, I don't understand why I always have to ask him for oral sex. Not like you and your Corrado. Bibi, listen. I know we always used to yak about our sex lives. I think it would be better if we didn't anymore. Okay. I mean it. Sure. Just, you're lucky, that's all. Gabby, Dante's cousin, and Bobby go to the same nail parlor. And your uncle... No, I, can't, I shouldn't say. Come on, Tony, come I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Okay. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just say your uncle has acquired a taste for her. Uncle June gives head. World class. The old man's whistling to the wheat field? <laughs> don't be disgusting. Oh, he's a bushman of the Kalahari. See, I, don't, I don't tell you anything, because you don't know when to stop. Oh, my God, if this ever gets out. Oh, yeah, like you don't do it. Or any of your friends. Bunch of hypocrites. Hey, what goes on in this bedroom stays here, and you know that. <laughs> Once a year, I can resist the urge to gossip. I'll tell you one dog you left still barking, that fucking Freddy Capuano. That motherless, money-grubbing little son of a bitch oh, that runs that... The guy who owns Green Grove? The timing community? He's like an old fucking lady. He's been going around telling soprano business to anybody who'll listen. He's the one that's been saying that shit about you trying to whack your mother. Even implied that me and her... Two, that hairpiece motherfucker. Promise me that you'll dumb me up about this. Yeah, all right. You're sick. People look at you different. They treat you like a fucking non-entity. I'm not kidding. You can't talk about this with anybody. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Hello? Uncle June's got cancer. Yeah. Tony, it's me, Valentina. You got no reason to be calling me. I have to tell you everything. I mean, I didn't want to tell you before because it's just so embarrassing. Where are you? I'm at Ralph's. Oh, Christ. No, 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 it's okay. He left. Tony, Ralph does not have sex like other people, regular people. It's all some kind of kinky shit. Believe me, I am not hung up. I, I, I've done a lot. I've done... Girls, I've done threesomes, and I've done... With him? No, Tony, please, just listen. Ralph is loco, for real, okay? He just makes me do stuff, not really even sexual. Like last night, I just wanted him to fuck me, just so I can get back at you. But all he wanted me to do was drip candle wax on his balls, and then he went into the bathroom and jerked himself off. Now, I don't call that having sex with someone. Oh, Jesus, age Christ. Last week, I swear to God. He told me to rub his dick raw with the cheese grater. Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't do it. I told him to fuck off. My accountant is here. Will you call me? I gotta go. What's that, Ellie? Let me ask you a question. Dick Ralph's a little weird about women. I don't know, don't. I mean, uh, he beat one to death, just for, uh... I forget. Why was it again? 
Tony walked away without a scratch. But Adriana suffered a severe blow to the head. Adriana got caught giving a big guy a blowjob. And when the paramedics found him, she had his cock still in her mouth. Now, statistics shows that most single car fatalities are the result of guys popping their load behind the wheel. Apparently, he came all over the sun visor. San Severino. Guess who went down on Tony Soprano? Imagine lying next to a guy 15 years and all the time he's been playing for the pink team. Who told you? Tony swore me to secrecy. I'm not gonna burn my sources. Anyway, it's all over the place. Those children. Imagine when they find out their father's a fanook. God, she's such a bright girl, Marie Spadafore. You think she and Vito had some arrangement? I just hope she gets herself tested. <sighs> God. Still Vito? I mean, he'd be like the last one you'd suspect. Suspect of what? Wow, such a young lady. Yes, she's working two jobs. Days she is interning at Genla Luxstein Abruzzo and Abruzzo. What about Vito? Nothing. Him and Maria having some problems, that's all. I can probably guess. Excuse me? Uh-uh, I'm not going first. Do you know something? Okay. He is possibly gay. Ben saw him giving some guy a blowjob. What? And Dad got him that job in construction. Finn showed up early one morning, and he saw Vito in a car going down in some security guard. Oh, my God! He saw this? He had Finn all freaked out. He still does. Why didn't you say something? Because Vito warned Finn not to. Sitting on the park bench. You gotta hear what Meadow just told us. Mom! The cat's out of the bag, Meadow. 